It's time to toast Marquia and Ryan on Toasting the Top 10. Will it be the photo bomber, their decor, or their cake that takes top place? Let's break out the bubbly and find out. Plus, we are serving up some hilarious outtakes at the end of the show. Let's toast. Real couples, real weddings. Join host Megan Waters and guests as they pop a bottle and celebrate love on Toasting the Top 10. Welcome to the Top 10. Today we are toasting Markia and Ryan's real wedding. And I am very fortunate to have in the studio with us talented photographer David England of David England Photography. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Sure. Well, first of all, Megan, thank you so much for having me. This is the first time I've been on a video, so I'm a little nervous. Because he's a photo guy. Because I'm a photo guy. But having that said, you want to know a little bit about me. So yes. I've been a wedding and event photographer okay. for a little over 19 years now, almost 20 if we count it in a few more months. I specialize in true tone photography. I'm not really big on filters. I want to celebrate the colors that are around the couple. I want to celebrate the natural skin tones of a, cu of a couple. And I also want to bump the contrast in what I do. Yes, and to translate that, he just takes fabulous photos, like literally. Thank you. So, I'm a big Thank fan. You. Our couple, I would like, like to introduce them. Marky and Ryan, they have been together for a very long time, and Ryan decided it was time to propose, so he took her to a very fabulous restaurant in SoCal called Javier's. Ooh. Yes, I actually love their guacamole. And he popped the question after dinner, and they have been happy ever since. And we had the pleasure to be trusted with their day. I was doing a video on this one and you were doing photography. <laughs> Let's jump into it. The top 10, starting with number 10. All right, top 10. This is like true to my heart and I love this top 10. They use the professional efficient. Thank you, thank, thank, you, thank you. you, thank you, thank you. I love when clients pick like friends and family members to be efficient, but if they haven't done it before, it can kind of get awkward. There's been some really interesting weddings where I've mm -hmm. had brothers or sisters that forget to tell the, the uh, guests to sit down. And everyone's standing for, and the, whole for the whole ceremony. So the fact that Marquia entrusted a professional efficient, hands up, kudos, bump it and pump it. Toast Cheers. It. Mm, and this is good. Yes, it is good. Uh, I, I don't go cheap here. You sure don't. Number nine. So I think the ceremony is a beautiful and sacred thing, but you should have a little fun with it. So I toast to the ring bearer and the security suitcase. Oh, that was so fantastic. It was a little pop. It, was it really was. Fun. And there's nothing more exciting to give like a little child, like a child or a kid, a really important job title or a yes. duty. And for him to carry around that case down the aisle, I mean, he was grinning from ear to ear. And that was so fantastic. Yes. For As a photographer perspective, I'm sure it's for a video as well. It made moment and the audience, the guests, they were just completely, they just loved it. They took it in. So it's okay to have some fun as you process down to marriage. Toasting to the suitcase. Toasting to the suitcase. Cheers. Mm. Ooh, I'm thinking I'm getting a little tipsy already. Yeah. All right. We gotta have enough to get through the time. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Number eight. For me, this was near and dear to my heart. I absolutely melted when I saw Marquia walk down the aisle with her stepfather. Now, for those of you who haven't been to the Lakewood Country Club, from where the bride um, leaves the building to where the actual ceremony site, it's a bit of a hike. Her stepfather had a cane and they were walking very slow, but to be in that moment to see her stepfather and to see Marquia just enjoy it and to soak it all in, it was magical. That to me just, it, it, it sang to me. It, did. it It filled my heart. It did, and the photos you got from that moment were beautiful because they were so having a moment. Yeah. So that leads to say that take your time down the aisle. Doesn't matter how long your aisle is, just take your time because that's a moment you get to share with the people that walk down with you. It's I a agree. I agree. It's not a race. It's not a race. Let everyone enjoy that moment with yeah. you. Sop it up. Yeah. All right. Let's toast to that. Toast. Toast. Okay. Number seven. This was something when I entered the reception room. I just was like, <gasps> and that was the sweetheart, I don't know what you'd say, the sweetheart lounger. It wasn't yes, just two beautiful chairs. Right? It was this full on sweetheart lounge chair and it was a custom piece and everyone wanted photos in this chair. So it made for a very fun entertainment piece within the wedding 
but also it was just a beautiful backdrop for Marquis and Ryan when they were sitting, listening to their speeches, enjoying dinner. People would come up to them, jump in the seat with them, take photos, and it just was a stunning accent piece that I thought fit them to a T. It was fantastic. The, the chair itself had a heart back, so each each side had a portion of the heart and it was mm -hmm. tall. It was yeah. a big, tall custom piece, yeah. which matched the decor of their wedding, which yeah. made it even that more memorable. Yeah. It was a statement piece, but that was our couple. All right, number six. Number six, okay. This so this one, yeah, this one's for me because it livened up and it broke apart this stiffness and the seriousness of the family photos, right? So we had this random bridesmaid like jump into a photograph like right in the middle of it and everyone died, including myself. I had to stop and catch myself for a minute. I love those random moments because that shows me who the crazy person in the group is and for the rest of the night, I kept my eye on her because she always had something going on. It's true and she was, she was also so sweet and oh, really sweet. there to celebrate um, with her friends and her dear friend Ryan and Marquia. She brought out the real smiles in everyone yes. when she was around and sometimes as a photographer I can see a faked or a forced mm -hmm. smile and I do my best at times to try to get that to disappear but this girl, her energy just brought out smiles from everyone. And Hashtag kudos to you, girl. Thank you. What do you mean, fake smile? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. When you're picking your wedding party, pick the fun people. They add right? to the day. They really do. They really do. Toast to the random moments. All right. And that awesome bridesmaid. Top five, girl. What's next? I thought that the wedding party's attire in the creams and the whites looked very classic, very stunning especially with the darker skin tones. Mm -hmm. Everything popped. I know there's this thing, don't wear a white on a wedding day except the bride, but everyone looked stunning. And I think that don't be afraid to play around in the palette of white and cream. So, I, I agree. So. It almost reminded me of, did you see the photographs maybe when Solange got married, Beyonce's sister? It was on a boat here in Newport Beach mm. and the whole bridal party was in white. And I was like, it's gorgeous, it's yeah. ethereal, it's light and airy, and everyone is regal at that point. And yeah, um, I just, they elevated the game. You can, anyone can get a black suit, but when you coordinate with the entire bridal mm -hmm. party and family members to wear whites or creams or whatever color you choose, mm -hmm. you definitely know who the really important people are for that day, and it's great for me to get a, a reference point on who I should pay attention to, but also it just makes, it just elevates the whole event. It does, it does, It was and it was classic. Like, you could look at those photos 20 years from now and it would still be classic. Most definitely, yeah. most definitely. Top four. Top four, girl. Talk, you the you had a, one word for this. I got one word for this. Opulence! Yes. That decor from top to bottom, I have to give kudos to Felicia because Felicia decorated the entire event. Mm -hmm. Everything from head to toe was creams and whites and golds and it was gorgeous. It looked like a $2 million venue. Yep. Yep. As soon as she just put her fairy dust on it, it yeah. was probably one of the most elegant spaces that I've been in in a small space. Mm -hmm. Does that but make she, any sense? She maximized the space. She really did. Every nook and cranny had something. Yeah, and it and it was, I mean, you just, you kept, it was like, in terms of being in the video world, I was just like, ooh, I gotta get that. Ooh, I gotta get that. Like it was so, you just couldn't get enough of it. Yeah, it was so. everywhere. There was always something to look at mm -hmm. or something to touch or something yeah. to see. It was, it was gorgeous and I love decor. So yeah. for kudos to Felicia girl, the yeah. hashtag, the website, wherever, wherever you're gonna put it yeah. on this teleprompter, it's gonna be there for you. So yeah. be sure to follow her. Yes, she's, and she, opulence. If you're looking for opulence, opulence. she's your girl. Oh yeah. Top three, we're in the top three. Uh oh. It's getting real now, it's getting very Drum roll please. Number three was the open mic at this wedding. Oh yes, yes. If, I mean, if you want love to pour out in a room, then open mic in a controlled setting True. is good. So there was a time limit and that DJ did not play around. She, she was like, that's it, you got 30 seconds. So, but it was fun and people got to share and there were some really sweet moments from some of his younger, Ryan's uh, nephew or uh, one of his younger guests. And I, I think it's a nice way to involve everybody. And if you have that type of um, family and guests where they do want to share, then you know, have that opportunity. Just make sure you put some time in the timeline and do not take away from the photo and video team time. 
Oh, I love that. That's fantastic. Toast to the open mic. Toast to the open mic. Cheers. Cheers. All right, so we're now off to number two. Number two for me, girl, was that cake. Yes. And can I, before we even talk about the cake, can I get a toast for the cake? Toast for the cake. Toast for the cake. Double toast, actually. Oh, double toast. Take a sip. I have never seen this before in my life. This was a swinging cake. Like, it was literally hanging from the ceiling and floating from the air, and it was gorgeous. It was absolutely gorgeous. I always see cake sitting on a corner of a table or what have you, but this one was like freestanding and floating so you can get a 360 view of the entire space. For me, the cake was number two. Number two, and it was, from a shooting perspective, it was awesome to shoot through it, around it, and it was just a, it fun. It was fun. It was actually fun to see them try and figure out how to cut the cake. <laughs> oh, I know, right? That was fantastic. <laughs> so, created another fun moment, but beautifully displayed. So, and one more toast for the cake. One more toast for the cake. Very unique. Very, Very unique. Hey, girl, we're off to number one. I'm going to give it to you. Yes. What number do we have? One, we have the dress. Oh, and yes. We loved this dress. Mm. And David, I'm going to let you wrap on this because you talked about it with so much passion. Why do we love the dress? Okay, first of all, I love when a bride celebrates her curves, and I love when a bride celebrates her tattoos. Marquis looks so elegant in her sleeveless dress, showing off those gorgeous tattoos and those lines. She killed it for me. She showed up, and everybody just dropped their jaws and were like, It was like, <gasps> Say what? It was like, she was gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I've known Marquia for a minute now, but on that day, like, she was stunning. ready for the runway. She, she really was, was. She was, and her hair and makeup were on point. I mean, everything about her, her day and what she planned into it was on point. So, toasting to that fabulous dress and rocking your curves. Get it, girl. Well, there you have it. That is toasting the top 10 of Marquia and Ryan's wedding. Yay. And it's now your turn to join the Toasting Tribe and leave us a comment. Tell us what was your favorite of the top 10 and share. And also on top of that, if you are looking for information on any of the professional vendors that we chatted about and toasted, there'll be a link that's going to pop up on the screen and you can go there to get all the information for your wedding. And finally, subscribe to us. Join our toasting tribe so you know when the next toast is happening and join in all the fun. Thank you so much for joining us and thank you to David for coming. Thank you. Thank you for having me. This was so much fun. Yay. And I'm sure he will be back because I always love shooting beside him. And we will see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. Can you touch your head and your tummy? Yes. I don't want to mess my hair. I'm not doing <laughs> Oh. You didn't do hardly any flicks. I did. Number four. Number, number six. Four, number number three. Seven. But look, I look. If we compare, can we just say what happened here? Yeah, I know. I'm an active toaster and lush. active drinker. Lush. Lush. Ding. Baby lush. Oh, baby lush. <laughs> He's got to drive. I get to hang out in the studio. Mm. <laughs>